Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, got it. There's a delay. Okay, no problem. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay, buddy. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Let's, let's just go for it. All right. A delay. Right. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're a little bit delayed. Genuinely, we've had some technical problems. Oh, as you might know, on the first broadcast, especially with cameras and audio and all that kind of stuff. But. Thankfully, finally, I really hope at long last, we are live, we're uninterrupted, we're unscripted, welcome to Suarez HQ, Run VT! <laughs> Sorry, I got I got things in my ears, ladies and gentlemen. It's fine. We're just trying to sort out a few gremlins. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be able to put some nice music on in the background, and we'll be able to hear what's going on. There's a slight delay between what I'm saying and the actual feed, so we're just trying to make sure that everything is fitting correctly. Oh, blimey! This is quite stressful, but anyway, I think we're getting there anyway. So, uh, right, I'm just going to carry on regardless. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see if we can finally get going. Apologies for being late, okay? Just want to say a couple of things just before we get going. Hopefully you'll see behind me when I introduce you to the cameras that uh, I've got a canvas on the floor, which is what we're going to be painting this evening. Fantastic. Um, let me, if you don't know why I'm dressed like this and I've gone to all this palaver, very briefly, I wear a mask um, because the paints that I use, which you're going to see in a bit, are very toxic and uh, they're not very good you know if you start breathing them in so i wear a mask and we're in the pod there's plenty of information on the site about that but it's a controlled environment so it contains all the vapors and i've got my extraction system which takes all the nasty stuff uh to the collection chamber now then um oh, i'll show the extraction in a little while anyway so so if there's problems i'm just gonna see if i can work out ladies and gents just bear with me a minute Okay, let's have a go with that. Right, is that any better, mate? Okay, apologies about the, the microphone. We'll sort that for next time. So, look, I apologise if things aren't right. Uh, we've got a lot of problems probably to sort out at some point. But anyway, look, we're at least live and we're getting going, okay? So, uh, if you're watching this hopefully now on YouTube and it's streaming, please get on the chat. Type away. Um, okay. 
Carl Hicks, hello. Teddy Walsh, hello. Alicia Ann, thank you for joining me. Anyone else? Funny Fox. I wasn't in California. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Common Heart. Hello. Nice of you to join us. Kimberly. Greetings from the Rockies. Awesome. You might you might be wondering how I've got this information. It's not on a screen or anything. My fantastic and wonderful colleague Adrian is at the control centre. Uh, I'll introduce you to him in just a second. What I want to do then while we're on the chat, thanks ladies and gents, is just to introduce you to the camera setup. So, camera number one, we've got, hello, we've got Corner Cam. Hello everybody. Next, we've got Overhead Cam. Hello everyone, how you doing? And finally, we've got Chest Cam. Hello Chest Cam viewers. No microphones. Let's see if we can sort them. Right, is that better? Sorry, I'm trying to sort it out. Is that better? Right, I'll try not to move too much now, but. Uh, Let's say hello. Oh, sugar. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll try again. Great. There's my wonderful colleague Adrian. He's at the control centre in the other side of the doors. Can't open it. There he is, there he is. <laughs> oh, right, right. So signal's gone on the mic. Oh, right, okay. Sorry guys, I'm going to get this as possible. We've got some... Uh, we are definitely going to order a lead and taking this one back. <laughs> uh, I think we have to turn this one, to be honest with you. Right, um, okay, so I'm just... Audio back. Oh, goodness sake. <laughs> Sorry everyone. Okay, right, let's see what we can do, shall we? Okay, right. So um quickly, now we've got a core air chest cam. Let me just show you the extractor. So basically all the air um basically all the air comes through there, the vents, and it swirls all the way around, and it comes all the way to here, and as you can see, hopefully, woo! It's quite strong. Look at that. Can we all see that okay? Nice. So that's the extractor, and that's taking all the nasties out of the pod. Ooh, looks like a little uh, octopus. <laughs> Thanks, Aid. Right. Okay, so let's have a little look at what we've got here then, shall we, boys and girls? Okay, right. Let's get some gloves on, because I want to start painting. Okay, so let's have a look. What do we got in the comments then? Shall we have a little look? Okay. So Thanks, Kim Ray. Yes, we are having a few uh, kinks. <laughs> well, uh, 
I haven't seen Ray Davis anywhere. Obviously, we'll get that if you're of a certain age. Spooky glove from Funny Fox. Woo! Nice. Oh, the yeah, the oh, the the little octopus. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. what? Hi Tanya from the Isle of Wight. Yes, a few glitches I'm afraid. Not to worry, we're getting there. We are getting there so slowly and surely. Max Powers in Missouri. Hi Max, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. I hope I've got that right anyway. Make sure I get my umbilical cord this way. So our furthest away at the moment is Zane Taylor. Um, hi Zane, nice of you to join us in, uh, in New Zealand. Hope everything's okay. Ah, Ernesto, how you doing? In sunny Chicago, or probably windy Chicago I should say, Ernesto. Hello James from Brazil. Man, we're really, we're really around the globe tonight. This is fantastic. Thanks everyone, this is so cool. Okay, so we got corner cam back on. Chest cam is here, which is great. Now um, you can probably see on the corner cam, um, I've got this great big cord. It's like it's like doing a lunar moon landing. This isn't it? Where I've got <laughs> all my all my uh, <coughs> life support stuff going in. So this is various cables to run the first person view GoPro, plus um, power packs and microphone and earpieces. And hey, check out my utility belt. Thank you, Amazon. Right, okay. So here we are. So I think what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to quickly talk you through what we're going to do this evening. So I would normally create a painting over a number of different sessions. First one, as you can see, actually, there's a piece of canvas just down there, which is going to be destined for a painting. I'd normally start with a base coat. So what, uh, let's pick out some paint. I'd normally, with a base coat, uh, where's my white gun? There we go. Um, so this is um, this is just a standard white. Um, I would normally water that down with thinners, very very thin skin coat, and it just sort of uh, evens out the weave of the canvas, so I can get a much smoother surface to paint on. However, when I do that, I've then got to wait four days for it to cure sufficiently, so I can start putting paint on the top. So as we haven't got that luxury tonight, I just want us to have a little bit of fun. That's what this is about. This is introducing you to the pod, the tech, and uh, hopefully on the overhead cam, we've um, we've got uh, some uh, some canvas already pre-cut on the floor. Now this is a 270 centimeters long by 152 wide. I think you can see that. And uh, when it's finished, it will be 250 by 130. That will be the finished size. If it's any good, great, fantastic. But to be honest, this is just for us to have some fun. Now, rather than getting into all the nitty gritty details of adding details, I just really uh, want us to have a little bit of fun with our window squeegee. Yes, indeed, my friends. Look at that. So we're going to have a little zoom in. So you can see this is just a very, very standard common garden extending squeegee. I don't tend to like using things like brushes. Okay. So this is what we're going to use, uh, and I'm going to use three different types of them. So there's number one, and uh, <coughs> let's pop two and three down. Okay, so number two is slightly smaller, and then hopefully if we get time, there's number three. So we, uh, we are going to go with some wide strokes to begin with, so we'll use the red one. Then we're going to go with the mid-size one, perhaps we go over the top, and then we're going to finish off hopefully with some of the smaller ones, and it's just really... I don't know, this is like a spreading, drag remove technique. I don't really know what you call it, if I'm honest. Um, so I think we'll pop those down. And we'll pick a colour. Now, I'm not going to put any black in this. I do have a tendency to go completely nuts when I use black. So I think we're going to avoid that. And I am going to start with... Oh, let me see. I'm going to start with... Purple. Now, I want to show you something quite Yay! cool. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 
Uh, yes, hello Tanya. Thank you for calling me Mr. Squeegee. <laughs> so Tony, uh, to answer your question, uh, yes, I am using enamel paint exclusively across everything. So, okay. What I'd like to do then is just introduce you to the paints. So these are my enamel paints. I have them specially made for me. We've been tinkering around with the recipe for 10 years. They're pretty special. You can do some amazing things with them. I have to go to a lot of lengths to protect myself, obviously, but it really is worth the effort. I mean, genuinely, I, I couldn't want anything more. So we're going to use two different uh, mediums, mediums, finishes. You can just probably see in the light, we've got a semi-gloss, which is this one. So it's a slightly matte texture. And then we've got the standard gloss. If I turn that round, you can see that. Okay, and semi-gloss. So I'm going to start with these two purples. I do get asked this a lot. What do you finish them with? Meaning, do you put a varnish on or something? No. All built into the paint. So the finish you see is the raw paint itself. The only real difference is how much of the thinning mediums I add or any other special chemicals. And that can sometimes change what the paints look like. So, uh, Big Worm. Do I have a preliminary sketch? Well, on this occasion, no, I don't actually sketch anything, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm so bad at drawing, it's untrue. I can barely write my own name. Anywho. Um, no, but what I do have, in all seriousness, I'm normally painting it in my head a few weeks before. And in fact, this one, I have got a pretty good idea uh, of what I'm going to do. Um, so we're going to do a series of sort of 45 degree swoops. I don't really know what to call them, to be honest with you. Right, I'm going to open these two purples first. Let's give you a shake. <laughs> now, just while I'm doing this, boys and girls, I just want to point out, if I huff and puff a lot, or, or strain, <laughs> I just want to point out that it's actually quite a, quite a harsh kind of painting environment, this. I'm, um, I'm wearing a... Oh, excuse me, my strap's falling off. You know, I'm trying to talk over the noise of the extractor, which is 95 decibels. You can't hear this because the microphone is inside my mask. But if I were to take this out, all you'd hear is this constant whirring of the noise of the extractor. So um, I'm, I've got that to contend with. There is a reduction in oxygen in here. There is also a drop in temperature because of the speed of the airflow. And wearing this mask for a few hours at a time, um, with it restricting airflow because of the valve system, you know, especially when you're requiring a lot of energy, it does get quite an oppressive environment to work in. I'm fairly used to it now, so don't panic, it's all fine. But all I really wanted to do was just to, to sort of let you know that if I'm huffing and puffing a bit, it's because it's hard work. <laughs> Physically, it's hard work. So hopefully we're on chest cam now. I'm just going to decant. That's a good word for the day, isn't it? Let's decant um, some purple. Oh, there's a big splodge in there, so obviously there's a bit of skin on the top. So let's fish that bad boy out. I don't want that. <laughs> Thank you, funny fox. You're applauding. Yay. Woohoo. That's cool. Right, I think that's not too bad. If the if the skin uh Oh, Nick Knowles. We all know Nick Knowles, don't we, boys and girls? He's a famous TV celeb over here. Fantastic human being. Me and AD love him to bits. He's just retweeted that we are live on YouTube. Mr. Niles, thank you. Thank you. It's a corner cam. Got to do a corner cam. Nick, Nick Niles, thank you so much. Uh, we are not worthy, sir. <laughs> remember, that, remember there's a hobnob here if you uh, have a drop in. Okay. We're going to start with some purple, ladies and gents. So I think what we're going to do. So, yes, okay. Let's start here. Let's just get let's just get on with it, Ed. Stop talking, buddy. And just get on with the paint, man. Okay, so we're just going to start with two opposing purples. They're very, very similar, these, on the general purple scale. Okay. I like to stand on the canvas. I'm not too precious. It's not going to get covered up. Oh, uh, look, there goes the splodgy bit. We'll just have to scrape that off, don't worry. Right, so 
that's got some purple on. Now at the moment you're thinking, what? What's he doing? But don't worry, it'll all become clear. Now, I'm going to pop purple back on the shelf. Lovely jubbly. Let's go for some lime. Now, I'm not a green lover. That's, uh, that's come out wrong, hasn't it? I'm uh, not really a big fan of green. But I've got to be honest. Oh, do you know what? Let's just go straight from the tin. Yeah, that's, that, that's the kind of mood I'm in. Let's do this. Let's get some green on the go. Oh, look at that. So, uh, Zane, I hear you asking about what brand is it? Ah, I'm afraid I cannot tell you. Um, to be fair, the paint is mixed by a local company, um, but it's a, a blend of quite a few exotic ingredients. But it isn't something you can buy retail, I'm afraid. All I can tell you is, it's a resin-based enamel paint rather than a water-based one. And that's actually genuinely really all I can tell you about it. I mean, I have the chemical composition for it, but I'm not sure everybody else on the feed is exactly going to think that's the most riveting thing going. Right, OK, I'm feeling gold as well, so we're going to get a few colours on here before we go any further. I don't know if you can see that, but this, this, this is a beautiful gold. Look at that, see if we can find that in the light a little bit absolutely gorgeous so this has a very very small metallic flake in it um again it's made to spec just a phenomenal thing i use this gold in so many paintings because it's beautiful let's pop some of that bad boy on we'll just take it from one direction for now that's that okay and then i'm just gonna pick one more color so let's mix this up all right <coughs> there we go let's get some orange on the go do you know what I'm feeling we should just go from the cans now. Let's get the lid open. Right. So Tanya, are you asking about uh, not using enamels before, but you'd imagine that they are. Oh, some cable coming off. Colour fast and very stable over time. Oh, bingo! Tanya, you've read my mind. You're absolutely right. Enamel paints are, by their very definition, just incredibly hard wearing, they're the things you paint bridges and ships with. So yes, they don't fade in light, they're UV and uh, resistant, and heat resistant up to 400 degrees C. So they're pretty amazing. Right, Whew. let's do this. <laughs> oh, Bob's, you love metallics? You are seriously, seriously going to love this gold when I spread it. Okay, so let's just dab the excess of the orange off. So we've got our first orange on. Right, so on the overhead now, you can see I've just put the first orange in. Now I'm trying, trying desperately not to get paint over everything, but... <laughs> oh, Katarina, yes, orange! <laughs> we love orange. Okay, right, now, so this is really just going to be a series of interlocking loops. Now we're just going to go with the first proprietary layer at the moment. So let's bring the gold the other way. Now... What? Okay, there we go. What I'm going to try and do here, ladies and gents, is control the pressure that I've got on the squeegee, okay? So let me talk you through that as I bring the purple in. Um, which way am I going to go with this one? So I need another colour on here. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> okay, right. So um, let's bring that over here. So what I'm going to try and do now is limit the pressure on this a little bit. There we go. Oh, Bob's bless you. You're going to be painting, are you? <laughs> That's so cool. I'm glad. Everyone should have a go at this. It's great fun. Um, right, so a couple of things here. Um, there wasn't enough in that blob to go all the way through. So that's fine, so I'm going to cover this right side up at some point, but we'll, we'll drag the line through in a moment. I'm going to get the other purple going first. And I think, now looking at it, I think if we go this sort of kind of sweep, let's see if we can lock, lock the, this purple and the gold in with a single sweep and bring it sort of over to this edge, I think. No, do you have said that? Could go that way. Let's have a look. 
Okay, right. So hopefully you've got a better shot of the dimensions of it now. I'm going to have to hold my lead out of the way so you can see what's going on. Okay. Right, so I think... Oof. It's, it's really quite complicated now. I'm actually trying this for the first time with the cord. But, you know, we're learning. That's the, that's the whole point. And you know what? I think genuinely, ladies and gents, that that's the whole point of the whole art thing. Is, you know, I mean, you've got to keep got to keep the learning process going really haven't you you know you never stop learning every time you pick up a brush sculpt something in clay put pen to paper however you do your creativity I think we're always learning always learning so now I'm going to try now um, do something with the pressure of the la of the squeegee now now I don't know if you can see that on the overhead You'll probably see it on the chest cam I've got I've got quite a river uh, here <coughs> Okay, so there's a slight build-up of paint, so I think that's good now. So what I'm just going to decide to do now is pull the line through the orange and pick it up. So at the moment, there's no room for black, white, and pink and all that. That's going to come. Oh, yes, the pink's going to come. I use pink in them and everything. So I want to now pull the opposition, sorry, the opposing uh, arc through this way. And I'm going to create this kind of roughly, roughly you can see about halfway through here. This is going to be like a kind of... A stop point if you like so I want to kind of split the painting into two but I want this natural intersection point through the middle where I've learned that these kind of you know, drag sort of loop paintings go where they work from really is a center point so I'm gonna put a little actually yeah let's put a little dub there so I'm gonna try and intersect as many things as I can through the center point it's actually what it does it has a the ability of kind of making your eye expand everything just a neat little trick that makes things Feel bigger than they really are. Right. There we go. So Zane, uh, thanks for the question about what kind of surface I like to work on. Um, Got to be a hard surface really. I like to be able to feel the floor underneath me. And uh, it also helps stabilise you know, the paints and what they're doing as well, to be honest with you. Uh, well, so Ruth, what do we do about footprints? Uh, there we go, nothing. No, moving on. <laughs> I'll, put as many, no, I'll put as many as I can on. I've got to cover most of this up, so I don't care. Okay, right, so... Let's, where are we going to pull the line? Where to pull the line? So I might oppose that. Do you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to bring it. And I'm going to put quite... Yeah. So Charles, uh, thanks to this guy working on my website. My oh, Charles, thank you so much. That's a really nice thing to say. Um, wow. <laughs> we, we aim to please, we aim to help. I mean, um, that's just very kind of you. That's a nice thing to say. Okay, right, let's get some, let's get the big guns out. Ah. So what we're gonna do now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to introduce all cameras at the same time. <laughs> so, hi everyone. We're all on. We're on all three at the same time. Okay, right. Let's just let's just get this done, shall we? So we're going in there with a. It's actually called Water Blue. Uh, it's got a reference of like 16E43, which is a British standard colour. Oh, here's a fun fact. While well, I put some more paint on, uh, I can now. Oh, look at this one. This one's going to be epic. Let's, let's get the pink on. Um, yeah, I can now mix in Pantone colours. So for those of you who might be familiar with the print industry, Pantone is a standard that uh, is used in uh, printed media. And uh, I don't know how many millions of colours they have, but uh, <laughs> I can mix in all of them. Okay, so let's uh let's which way we're going to take that if i take that over that side that fills that one so i need an opposing pink to go the other side so i think i'm probably going to need to take pink there so let's get a blob in there okay that's good so what i'm going to do now is oh god that's quite nice isn't it <laughs> it's pulling i'm not going to pull in whites yet whites and the and some of the sort of darker tones and there's a reason for that which I'll 
if I can remember, I'll come into later. What I want to do now is really just explore some of the, the more vivid, uh, brighter tones, just for now. Some of the what I'd call some what I'd call some of the more. Oh, come on, get off. Primary colours. Oh, Bob, thanks for the feedback on the camera angles. That's good. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if, if you're liking this, um, by the way, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That would be nice. Remember to subscribe as well, because I, I like, honestly, I know I keep banging on about it, but there's so much good stuff coming up. And what we've been brainstorming, me and AD now, for three months <laughs> on, uh, on what we're going to do and the kind of content we want to bring you guys. So, you know, helping spread the word is just brilliant. So, anything you can do. Uh, don't forget, ladies and gents, give us a subscribe. Do it now, come on. Thank you, thank you so much. A million times over. Right, okay. So, we got some green, lots of basics. So, we're going to go with red and with some pinks. Let's give this a little bit of heart now, yeah? Well, we're not very far into it, so there's still plenty to do. So I think what I'm going to do, let's bring the pink in first, and then we'll crisscross that with the red. So let's see what I can do. So again, I'm just thinking about the general direction this is going. Now again, we're only on the large uh, scraper at the moment. Scraper squeegee at the moment, so that's okay. Don't mind that. Let's move that. Tony Walsh, thank you lot so much, Tony, for what you've just said about, you know, saying it how it is in the art world, you, you know, I'm no classically trained artist, I don't really know who anybody is, but I'm just trying to be honest and who I am and authentic, you know, and speak with a voice that's, that's my own and hopefully most people that want to listen, happy days. <sighs> Right, so I had a, a question about finishing the canvas. Well, I'm just going to get the blue out, which is really nice. Uh, what did I do with the red? Ah, there it is. Yeah, so finishing the canvas, you might be uh, wondering. Uh, basically, yeah, when it gets stretched around the frame, it can have undulations in it, it can have ripples, that kind of thing. Um, but I find that as long as you apply a heat source to it, it actually does behave remarkably well. Uh, the other nice thing is, is we've got a series of proprietary chemicals that does allow the paint to be flexible. So whilst it dries, it still maintains uh, some elasticity in it. So that does enable us to bend things around the corner quite happily. And yeah, that's just something we've developed with the paint over the years, to be fair. Okay. Let's have a look. Ah, Piaggio. There we go. So, coming in from Stanton, just do it, yeah? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! So, that's just for you, Stanton. <laughs> did, you, did you like that? Uh, just for you. Bit of Shia LaBeouf and his motivational just do it speech. Uh, that's funny. A, li a little bit enhanced, obviously, but... Uh, okay, great. So... Let's get some yellow. Come on, it's a dark day in Stroud. It's in the autumn. Ooh. <laughs> So uh, thanks Ruth, Todd, that's great. 
And Bob, thanks for that. Right, come on Ed, where's the yellow gonna go? Right, so I'm working 360 degrees as you can see because it's very important to try and balance everything up. I've just got to decide now. We're gonna do a couple of yellows, so I think we're gonna take this one from here. Not a fan of purple and yellow together if I'm honest. But that's fine, that's gonna pull over to where you're seeing it to the right hand side. And then I'm going to take an opposing one, I think. Um, yeah, so the, the purple's kind of going now a little bit. So I might try and s I might switch actually and use the shorter one. So I think we're coming to an end of using the wide squeegee now, boys and girls. Just a couple more. Now let's see. Okay, so let's go with yellow now. I'm just going to pan out which direction it's going. I quite like the striations here in the orange and the purple, but I feel I'm going to have to go over that. Right. So I'll be very careful. <laughs> Thank you, Funny Fox! Yes! You'll have to be the Just Do It channel, won't it? <laughs> now, of course, here, you see, I, uh, I now need to bring the yellow the opposing side, so I'm going to kind of miss the focal point a little bit, but then I've got to I'm thinking ahead now to, my, to when I apply the white, white stroke cream, you know, and that's something I'll be very mindful of. So we'll just get some of these nice blends through the centre, um, because when I go with the, the smaller squeegee, I'm going to be picking up some of these when I go through with the other colours. Okay, so... Uh, now, will my cable move? There we go. Oh, it's, a, it's a bit difficult wandering around with this great big cord attached to you. But I'm trying right. So I think I could probably echo the size. Yes, yes, let's do let's do that. I've got quite a bit on here, so I'm gonna whiz the corner around a little bit. There we go. And I think we'll bring it around this way. Now what you might feel so far is that some of these are all pointing in the same direction. But there is a reason for that, as with everything, there's a reason for my madness. And that's because when I get to the small squeegee, I'm going to be putting the accents in, so I can properly define the direction of these uh, by interlacing all the smaller movements over the top. So really all this is at this stage is, because I want to do something nice and happy and multicoloured, it's just pretty much just get, you know, the basic colours down for now. Now then. Got a little bit of yellow on. I'm going to keep the yellow out because I quite like that. I've got some white showing, but do you know what? That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Let's, yeah, let's get down, shall we? Let's have ourselves a little look. Uh, so, uh, funny fox. Yes, does my back hurt? <laughs> uh, yes, it does. Frequently. Back hurts. Uh, knees hurt constantly. Always on my knees all the time, um, always struggling for breath, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, I don't know, you can't really see this, but um, it, it's, hang on, let me turn around. It is quite oppressive. It is quite oppressive through here, so there is a little valve uh, in here that sort of pumps in and out. But um, by its very design, it just doesn't allow as much air in. Ooh, thanks as you would want really. Um, so it, it filters particulates down to 0.8 of a micron I think. So it really does get all the vapours out. It's particularly these filters are uh, vapour filters. Well particulate filters as they're called. So. <laughs> but yes it, it does make the back hurt. Oh do you know what? Funny fact it makes everything hurt to be honest with you. Ugh. Now there's two things I quickly want to tell you about these two paints. When we popped down here this lovely green, which I don't know if you can see, is now forming where it's, it's fallen outside of the squeegee. There are two rivers either side. This is one of the benefits of using squeegees, is that the excess forms at the edges. So when I re-go back over these, with the other colours that I'm going to use, that's where we'll get these beautiful colour blends between whatever goes on and what lies underneath. So it's, it's a very, very, very simple thing using a squeegee, but actually if you get the technique right, and the consistency of the paint right, oh, they're just, they're just epic. So, here we go. 
So thank you James about the angles, I'm really pleased you mentioned that because we worked hard with that. Thank you Funny Fox again for agreeing with that. Okay, I want to tell you quickly about this amazing stuff here. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. Now this is, let's get it in the light, look at that. Now it's got a few bottles. Beautiful thing about this is this is Suarez Blue. And that might sound nothing but it's our own colour. Made for me. Doesn't exist anywhere else. That's pretty cool. And it's a metallic blue with a very small metallic flake in it. And it just looks epic. And I, I, well, I love colour. <laughs> Should know by now. Look, even just after a few minutes. I love colour. Colour is great. So, um, anywho, enough about that. Um, okay, let's have a think. Where am I going with this? So, here what I'm doing now. Let's get some blue on. It should be enough should be enough to pull from bottom over to the left. So with this one I'm going to go with arc and I'm going to go from this point to the white, the blank white over there and on the right hand side I'm then going to oppose the blue and bring it through here. So this is the first time I'm going to introduce something that's crossing these that I've already done in that direction. So I'm just going to alter the angle a little bit. Now let's, let's get rid of the excess paint off the, off the squeegee. Turn around so I don't hang myself. Okay, so let's pull this bad boy out first. So I think I've got an end point of around here. So I'm aiming to have my arc somewhere around there. So let's get rid of the white. I know I'm going to cover up some of the orange, but I'll probably apply orange in a little while. So let's see if we get a nice... Thanks, Bob. Look at that. Oh, I just almost got it. <laughs> There we go. Let's get let's get the blue one. Look, lovely. You can also see why I like to work flat on the floor now, because I can just scrape it off the other side. So yeah, let's get the blue one. And of course, you know, as I kind of work towards finishing this off with white and other colours like that, then uh, I'm going to be picking up all these individual layers and the sequence of colour that forms. I'm going to be pulling that all out when I finish off with things like white. Because the white's going to make a massive difference. Okay, right, we'll just hit that. Now, see what's interesting here? You know, where these intersections are now. I've got a little bit of gold coming out. I've uh, mixed the blue with the red. But what it hasn't done is, you know, created this sort of kind of purpley colour or maroon, which is what it would probably do if they were mixed. So that's nice. I've still got that nice separated red line and a separated green line. So I'm really pleased with that. I think then my neck. Oh, nearly slipped over then. <laughs> Okay, no. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Let's sort this out. So here's a good tip as to why you should always keep your offcuts. <laughs> I'm going to lay that down so I don't kill myself on camera. Otherwise you'll be watching me on one of those ultimate fail videos or something. Okay. So. Okay. Let's pull that over so I don't kill myself, eh? Right. It's just an excess of paint here, so. I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't die for the benefit of ratings. <laughs> okay. That's good. Right. So, overall, where are we at then? So we've got a lot of the primaries on so far. A few little white spaces, but that's okay. That's good. Let's cover the blue up. Don't need that necessarily. I've got shoelaces undone. Oh, shoelaces are all... Look at the shoes! I love the shoes, man. I've got loads of these. <laughs> okay, best work of art of all, my shoes. Okay. Okay. Right, so let's pick ourselves something really nice. Oh, I know. I've got a fluorescent orange line here. Oh, let's pop some of that in. So now I'm going to dispense with the wide scraper. Squeegee. Um, if this hasn't dried, because it doesn't feel like it's moving very much. Oh, hey, oh, look at that. Uh, uh, no, don't like the look of that. Right, let's abandon that. Oh, although, I don't know actually. Could I? No, yeah, well, I think we're alright, just got a bit of a skin on it. That's a wicked line colour. Okay, so I think what we're going to do in the next. See how much we can get done the next sort of 15 minutes or so. Let's give that a stir. So I use wooden 
10 depresses. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh. There we go, that's looking nice. Oh. Right, okay, so which way are we going to pull this? I'd like to pull this. Uh, let's think a minute. So that looks like a V. I want to get one over there. Just thinking about this now. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I know. I know, I got it. Let's get the lime on. Oh my god. Look at that. It's like the 4th of July. Okay. Or even Halloween, which is what it is tomorrow. Or if you're watching this in a week's time, it was a week ago. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Amy's on the train trying to watch. <laughs> Look, looking forward to... Uh, it is our Amy, mate. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Friend of ours. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, someone say you're hidden. Shout out to producer Aidy. Yeah, let's give Aidy another round of applause. <laughs> 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 So what do you reckon? We're looking pretty good? Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. Right, so let's get some fresh gloves on. Right? So now we're really starting to get some, let's get some impact on this now, yeah. Let's get a vanilla lime on. Now can I, can I oppose that lime from somewhere else? If that's going that way. And really, I need to, okay, I need to go from there and do one the opposite way. I'm quite mindful now that I don't want to load one side up with green. Uh, especially it's my least favourite colour. <laughs> okay, let's see then if I'm going to take that that way. Now this is going to be quite difficult because I'm not sure how far my lead stretches. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come out and kind of go back in again because um, that's pointing that way. So let's point this one the other way. Let's see what we can do. That's not bad. That's not bad. I like that. Let's manoeuvre that down here. I can get away with this on the edges, look, because the edges are uh, going to get disappeared around the edge of the canvas. Right. So now we're starting to define this now, which is great. We need some just check my clip on my shoulder, actually, if you don't mind. Yeah, I don't think I've got it quite in the right place, but that's okay. It's all good. Right, so I think I'm temporarily done with the lime. That's all right. <sighs> right, okay, bear with me. I'm going to just feeling that I need to maybe pop a little bit of... This is like a burgundy chocolate. Uh, which is quite interesting. So I think I've got a little bit of substance in here now. This this corner needs something doing to it. Yeah, let's pop that there. So um, just going back to Zane just for a second. Thanks, Zane. Yeah, do work on a hard surface. This is a concrete floor in the studio. And actually, what you can see with all the paint on it <laughs> is actually a giant piece of linoleum, kind of thing you find in the bathroom or the kitchen at home. Um, and it's got a slight resistance to it. So, Zane, that's a great question. Do I feel that, would my process be restricted? Sorry, no, um, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Would, uh, is the restrictive nature of your process reflected in your art? Oh, God, absolutely. Um, you know, I don't tend to delve too much into the thought processes behind any of it, to be honest. But that's only really because I haven't got time to sit and think about it. But I think if I did, I probably wouldn't do it. I know this cord is uh, in a bit of a nightmare, but you know what? That's all right. We'll figure it out. So we'll probably get a better pulley system for the top, something like that. Okay. But we'll work on it, folks. You know, we've got a broadcast going, and I'm so 
so grateful of your support for tuning in. So this is really, really kind for all of you who are here. I'm really, really grateful on behalf of us both. Okay, so before we start on the way and go to the really small squeegee, I want to pop some more gold in because I absolutely love it. Look, just, oh, just crazy. Hope you're picking that up. I wish you could see it for real. The really nice thing about the gold is that actually when it's drying, or when it is dry, let's go over here and bring it, uh, should we do it? Yeah, we'll bring it this way, we'll take it from here. The gold, when it dries, oh, when the light hits it, it it's in such contrast with the other paints. That, oh, oh my god, I nearly went again. Um, <laughs> fail! <laughs> that, um, <laughs> what was I saying then? Um, thank you, big one, yeah, tie-dye. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the gold, when it, when it dries, because it looks so different to the rest of the paints, it's the one thing that really, really shouts out to you when you see it in the light. Anyway. Right, okay, so I'm feeling like my gold probably needs to come through here. Let's get some light going. Now, these layers are fairly fresh here. I'm going to pick up some of the green and some of the blue. So let's give ourselves a look at that already. Okay, that's nice. Let's give that a little spread. Tiddly pum, whatever. Spread that out. And then I'm going to do the same from this side with a gold this way. So I've got one going that way, so I really need to go the opposing way. But I'm, I'm, kind, of, I'm kind of feeling mad. I wonder if I could... What if I, oh, yeah, I wonder if I can bring it through there. Do you think I've got enough? Shall we have a go? I'm not going to go through the centre because I'm saving the centre points up for the white. So I need really to aim kind of maybe here and bring it off a, a tail, I think. Do you think I should... Do you think I should do it? Do you think I should do it? Do it! Just do it! There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Whew. Okay, beautiful. Right, what I don't want anything to do now is come too muddy, so there's no, I'm not going to use anything darker now. What's interesting now is I've got this kind of spread uh, where it hasn't taken all the way through on the gold. But do you know what? That's okay. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay, so the one thing I think, although we've got the pinks now, because we started with purple, we're kind of losing that a little bit. So I'm going to choose. Oh my god, there it is. There it is. I knew I had it. Oh, my beautiful metallic purple. Come on. Thanks, Kit. Is it Kim Ray you just said? Kim Ray. Thanks, Kim Ray. The Swartz method. <laughs> I'll take that. Okay, so let's see. So I think I need to go sweep this way. You know what's quite evident from this side now is that I've got an unbalance of the gold at the bottom. So I'd like to bring the, the purple through and do that kind of sweep. Now, because the bulk of the chocolate maroon comes from that side, I'm going to do a pour from here. And that pole will then take the bulk that way. So hopefully I'm going to kind of even that up a little bit. So let's, we really need to get quite a bit on there. Okay, nice. So I'm not mixing anything else with these paints at the moment. These are literally straight out the can. And sometimes you just got to do that. Okay. Oh, God. Literally. <laughs> oh, my legs are spreading apart. Steady on, steady on, Ed. It's a family show. <laughs> right, let's see, let's see if we can do this. Okay. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Okay, so I didn't quite hit my focal point, but I did manage to get that little bit through there, so that's fine. Okay, so the gold's, gold's starting to separate now. Gold's made of slightly different properties. Let me spin around. There we go. Then, uh, then the rest of them. So you do tend to get um, little effects going on. Okay, I like that. What I might do is bring some more of that Piaggio green in. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you why it's called. Piaggio green, shall I? <laughs> You'll like this. 
it's actually the same colour as the Piaggio Scooter brand. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kim Ray. Yeah, we knew what you meant. <laughs> we're just we're just playing with you. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> 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 right, I think what I'd like to do now is, yeah, I'm going to do that one. Let's do that one. Oh, where are we going to do the other one? I'm just going to have a think here for a second, my lovelies. Okay. <laughs> Right, let's see where we're going to bring that. So I've got one going through there and that way, but I quite fancy that over here. So do you know what? Let's bring a big, big sucker through here. There we go. There we go. Now, I don't really want to go over that again with anything. I've still got a few white gaps here, but I'm going to save those for the white. I think it goes over the top. <laughs> You'll really see what's inside my head now, aren't you? Okay, I think... I need to go in with two more colours before I hit the white. So we're not far away from from this, ladies and gents. So I think I'm going to stick with that orange. Do I stick with that orange? No. No, 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 no. Hello, cheeky. I think we should go with you. Let's, let's go with that. That's a nice looking orange. Is it? Oh, can't get the lid off now. It's embarrassing. Let's have a look. Let's see what you're like inside. So Zane, thanks for the question. Drying time, uh, it's a minimum of four days. So what that four days means is that that's how long it takes for the nasty chemicals to finish their process of being evaporated and taken out of the building. After that, I mean it still smells after that, so really need a week in between coats, but actually in terms of it being movable in and out of the pod, uh, then four days. Uh, depending on the, uh, the depth of the paint, there's quite a bit on here, not a massive amount, but quite a bit for this demo. Then uh, this will probably mean five, probably five to six days before it's it's movable. Just having a think what I'm going to do with this loop. Quite fancy this intersection, just coming through the gold and breaking up the green. And we're going to echo this orange line, which is one of the original ones we did when we were doing purple. All right. So, here we go. <laughs> Bob, you love the metallics, don't you? I know, honest to God, you should, you just, just got to see them. Uh, they're just incredible. Okay, so I'm thinking here, you can see the sweep. I might try and, I'm definitely going to intersect this. I don't want to really mess this up. This is nice, a little bit of depth, but I need to bring this, sort of clip this edge through here, break the green up, echo the orange, but I'll take some of the some of the purple out, but not a lot. So let's see if I can hit that. Hit my mark. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Probably not enough. Still got a little bit of orange poking out there, but that's all right. I can cope with that. What I might do then is maybe bring something that way at some point. That's not too bad. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to spread that out a little bit because I'm going to end up covering it. Very handy these, aren't they? Um, okay, that's fine. Let's at least get the canvas covered. There we go. Katerina, you are so right. I think it does look like a rainbow, doesn't it? Well, look, you know, what I wanted to do, boys and girls, is have a little bit of fun tonight. Really introduce you to us, to me, and to Aidy, and just to have some fun with some paint, really. You know, that's it. And I couldn't think of a better thing on the overhead camera than having something big and bold and colourful and full of life. And hopefully we've got that. Got a couple more processes left. Oh, just adjust my cord again. Getting out of breath now. Just getting tired. <sighs> it's a say, I know, Bob, tell me about it. The cameras really don't do them justice. Um, but I think, look, you know, pretty much now we've got some of every colour group in there. What would I add? Yeah, it's... See, this is the 
this is the tempting thing, isn't it? Is you can really overwork them at this point, but I'm not gonna. Hello, Fashara in Jakarta. Wow, how's life in Jakarta tonight? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you for joining in. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, right, so that's a very bright. Oh, what are my pinks like? Hmm. <laughs> was that Charles, was it? Charles, yes. <laughs> One of the most important things about learning art is knowing when to stop. Oh, i got to tell you, I struggle with that all the time. You have absolutely no idea what it's like sometimes when I just the tiniest, tiniest little drop of paint will squiggle or line and suddenly it's, that's it, it's gone. And you think, you've got to be kidding me, what? what's just happened? So it is a very fine line. I'm not going to be precious about this at all. Like I said, we're going to put the white on there and then there's just one more process after that, which is really quite exciting. So I'm just going to switch. Hopefully we're on chest cam now. Oh, oh hey, Tony, yeah. So you think that's a kaleidoscope? <laughs> Great name. I think I'm going to have to steal that. You're going to, you're going to charge me for that. Oh, I hope not. I think Tony deserves a round of applause for that. Let's <laughs> give him a round of applause. Thank you, Tony. Well, let's get rid of that. Hands, thank you so much for your uh, for your vote of awesomeness. We really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Right. Okay, so these are the crucial ones now. You know, the first kind of applications you can you can kind of forgive yourself if things don't go too right. But when you start to get to the end and things are looking reasonable, uh, this is this is the hard stuff now. You know. Hey, hey, Zane, these are like the parties you went to, <laughs> dude. I want to go to your parties, man. They sound insane. <laughs> Yeah, it's a typical Saturday night for me. No, I'm only joking, of course it's not. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Tony, appreciate that. Okay, so um, we can see now on the overhead, I'm going in with the slightly, well, the smallest uh, one of the uh, <coughs> squeegees now. So just to give you, give you an example, hopefully you can see the difference between the two. So we're just under half size for the finishing squeegee, and I just really want to accent with some white now. Oh, now these really are really are the quite the crucial points. There's some fantastic things opening up here. Rivers, uh, all kinds of modeling and selling going on, pools, beautiful. I mean these things are fantastic. Now, because I am on the smaller squeegee, uh, this is gonna mean that the paint that I've currently applied is gonna spread to the to the sides. There's a reason for that, which is why I've gone to the small one. But anyway, just for now. Let's get this on. First one. Okay. Hey, Kevin! Oh, how's the aircraft going? The aircraft business. <laughs> Long time no speak. I understand you've got a glass of wine and watching me doing some painting. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Got to give you a shout out. Okay, so looking at the right applications now, I don't want to go too mad on this, but I now know to this side I want to even things up a little bit. So I'm now tempted, tempted to go that way with one. Um, thank you, big one. Much appreciated. Right, which way am I going to go with this now? Do I want to pull it that way? I feel like I've got to go that way. Right, okay. I'm going to have to get a bit radical here. Sorry if I'm straining. Let's get some down there, not too much. Whew. Okay, right, the line's got to be right here. I'm going to have to destroy some of the gold, but I don't... I, I need to... I need to sort of, I don't know, do something here. I'm not quite... not feeling that kind of... That's a bit, bit Gerhard Richter-esque. Go Google him. Very famous German abstract uh, artist. But I'm going to pull that through, because I want to do something here. This is a bit boring. Nothing happening. And I think it's important to balance out the movement of that white. So let's oppose it. But it's nice to have things balanced up, isn't it? Let's see if I can get something out of that. 
Um, yeah, okay, that's not too bad. I can live with that. But I might... Hi, fire otters! I'm very best, am I? Woohoo! Thanks, dude. Much appreciated. Greetings in Brazil. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Okay, so that's even that out a bit. So I now know, because I started two of the applications on that side, I potentially now could finish two off on this side. I dragged them just to kind of finish us up. So I'm thinking maybe I'll start on this side of the gold and go that way. I think what that will help me do is actually lighten up that chocolatey maroon. So I think I'm probably going to go at the base of the gold and maybe go that way. But I don't... Yeah, I've got to be careful because I don't want to wreck the orange and I don't want to mess up the pink. So there are some serious considerations here now as to which way I'm going to go with that. So I've got to be... I've literally got to arc this, this kind of line. Yeah. Trying to organise this kind of line here. Okay, so let's see. Ah. Let's see if I can make this happen. Ah. Hello, Mystique Magnolia, watching from Michigan. Oh, thank you so much for your comments. Painting's not bad either. <laughs> can, can you get a bit ting for that? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Ah, everyone's a winner. No, but I do, I do truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, do you know I've even have worried. I mean, I had a few technical gremlins, but I'm so enjoying myself right now. For those of you that create, honestly, there is there are fewer, more free and exhilarating experiences than taking an idea and doing something that's never been created before. I mean, people paint all the time, but. This one's never been done, has it? So, I think that's, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Thanks, funny fox. Yeah, they are pretty, pretty crazy. Cameras just don't do them justice, to be honest with you. I mean, they never will, but that's okay. All right. So I think that's pretty cool. Look, I wanted to maintain the integrity of the pink because that's quite nice where it is. Now, you know, can you see what's happening already? If you overwork enamels, you get the muddiness. So we just got away with it there. I mean, skin of my teeth. So I don't really want to do much here. The only thing I'm going to do is maybe pull one more white. And I need to get quite a bit on with this because if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up with more mud. And that's the last thing I want is mud. Enamels are not forgiving boys and girls they will bite you as soon as we board you so let's have a look now let's have a look okay I think where are we gonna go we want an open day, do we? All right, we're going to televise that as well. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Right, so I'm going to hopefully go in with my last white now. Now, because of where I started the whites previously, that really the last white's got to start here. Otherwise, I can feel it starting to become unbalanced over on this side. So let's go. Hi, Genesar from beautiful British Columbia. Hello, how are you doing tonight? Oh, strangle, strangle. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for joining us. How very kind of you. Yay! Right, let's have a think now. Okay, right, so I've had to... Oh, so going back to... What do you do about footprints on your canvas then, Ed? Uh... Not much you can do about it when you've got a stretch. That's all right, we'll cover that up, don't worry. Just, right, so let's, ooh. Where am I? Carol says, where am I? In Stroud. <laughs> in a sealed nuclear containment bunker, somewhere in Stroud. That's pretty much it, really, uh, Carol. Okay, that's not too bad. I can live with that. Uh, Hmm. 
So, Ariolano, have I pronounced that correctly? I hope I have. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for liking it. It's great. Don't forget to subscribe. I know I keep banging on about it, but it's the way you get to see all the good stuff. Catherine, it's the same technician is doing it amazing. Don't tell him that, he'll want to pay rise. <laughs> Don't tell him that, I, I can't get him off the ceiling as it is. <laughs> oh, so you definitely want to pay rise, Yay! yeah? Yay! <laughs> I bet he does. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Right, so I'm almost going to finish off now. I'll, I'll worry about the little white bits in a minute. But just, I need a little bit of warmth here. Do you know what the, it's interesting how the painting speaks back to you. You know, you don't ask for that, but sometimes you just feel that you have to react to things. I think that's a good thing, being able to react. Because if you don't, you stay static with your ideas. You don't ever really give yourself an opportunity to breathe. And I don't mean that in the physical sense. So let's see what my, yeah, it's not bad, but I need to oppose. Ah, look, see what I've done there? And I need to do something <laughs> opposing. Oh, this is where it gets so, so stressful now. It's not quite right. Ah, oh, Kim Ray, thank you so much. Non-artist watching. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Seriously, seriously, if you like this, you need to go to the site and have a look. Suarez.co.uk, you'll find me. You'll find me. There we go. Let's give that a wipe. Okay, so I don't think we're a million miles away, but now, do you know what? I'm kind of, oh, uh, I didn't know you used to live in, in Dursley, Kevin. <laughs> Thumbs up to anyone in Dursley tonight. Uh, just down the road. Right. Um, so, Katerina, do I sometimes stand on a ladder to get an overview of the painting? It has been known. On the very big ones, because... This is an eight by four meter working surface. So yeah, on the giant stuff, when people commissioned them, I absolutely do have to stand on a ladder, I assure you. <laughs> to be honest, I've almost been dangling with, with toyed with the idea of having a Mission Impossible style, you know, hoist, uh, where AD can lower me down and I can you know, be that close to the cameras. But I know, through you and me, he'd never let me back up again. So I'll be dangling there for a day. Until he got his pay rise. Anyway. <laughs> Let's see if we can finish it off with a white. All right, so red's looking okay down here. We came from the just above the midsection on that one. So we're going to have to bring it from here and then take him through, I think. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. That's really sweet. Thank you. <clears throat> That's... Oh. Thank you, Patrick. That's really kind of you. Thanks for your feedback. Right, let's just pull this. Don't think, Ed. Just do it. <laughs> yes, Kevin Strade is a very creative place. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool place. Right, so we should see us all three cameras now because I'm gonna. Oh, see how look I've got. I've got the movement in me now. I've got to got to try and finish it. I can feel it's almost. Almost there, almost there. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Come on, Ed, think. Think, 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 think. I just want a tiny drop. I don't want a lot. But I've, I've just got to cross there. Yeah, I've just got to cross it. Well, this is what I get, like, when I haven't got an audience, and I'm, like, talking to myself. Let's just get that done. Right. Okay. Whew. I'm sweating buckets here. Oh, Zane, good idea, a mirror on the ceiling. Nice idea. Not sure I'd get much painting done, though. Lol. <laughs> oh, funny fox. What's the biggest painting? I'll tell you, funny fox. 22 feet by 12 feet. And, and that's on a curved surface as well. And to the best of our knowledge, it's the only, what's well, the largest curved painting on the planet, which is our claim to fame, which, uh, which is kind of nice. And that's down in Canary Wharf at a very prestigious high-end uh, development of uh, posh apartments. 
which was nice. Um, so that is the biggest one that we've ever done and it took three of us three days to install it, which is pretty nuts really. Okay. So Tim, Stan Tim, this is just for you, okay? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Yeah, I hope you appreciate that, Tim. Thanks, that's just for you, buddy. Uh, the line's not right. The line's not right. That's better. Damn it, need some blue. <laughs> It's gone forever, can't you? Almost time to put some black in. Oh, it's going to ruin it. Is it? Is it going to ruin it? Come on, Ed, think now, think. But you're really getting an insight into what's in my brain. <laughs> think, I think I just need a thin line, do you know what? Right, but this is one from the other day that's been curing, actually. And the reason I've done this is, there you go, you see it? Just to let it go off a little bit, so it's going to maintain its structure a little bit. Now, I'm going to do something slightly different here. Instead of pulling it in a corner, I'm going to pull a line out and I'm just going to let the line go. So I'm not going to spread this. So I'm going to do two opposing ones, really just to pull the painting apart now. So let's see if we go back to the earlier question about making and breaking an artwork. Bam, this is it. This is it, man. It's all I'm looking. Oh, let's see. Oh. Right. Right, okay. Apologies that my wires is dangling a little bit, but I dare not stop now. Uh, okay, okay, let's sweep this now. How am I going to get all the way over there? Right. Oh my god, no, 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 that's not going to work. This is so, just because when I've come off the side, I've got paint everywhere and I, I can't grip the floor with my trainers. I genuinely need to do an arc there, so I think I might. Sorry folks, I might just have to drop small piece of canvas over there to stand on to stop me breaking my legs. So I think that might be quite a good idea. <coughs> oh, go back in there, wires. Right, okay. Oh, thank you, Jade Renee. Look, I don't think you picked that up. But isn't the gold just... I know, I know. Talking about the gold. Just stunning. Okay, see if we can finish this off now, folks. Here we go. Nice, that'll do. Almost done. And then uh, I'll just do one this side. Oh, nearly there, nearly there. Come on, Ed, don't lose it. Don't lose it, son. <coughs> <sighs> Big one, small one. Okay. Right, give it a spray with some thinners. <sighs> right, and I want to particularly do the gold and the lime. Two different types of thinners here. What this is going to do is just create a small chemical reaction. Where the gold is, there we go. Um, I'm going to leave the black. The black will just develop and do its own thing. Uh, Maybe it was a mistake, who knows. But anyway, look. Oh, Kevin, I'm not sure what you mean, but thanks for recommending it. Sounds interesting. We'll have to chat. Right. Okay. Last thing, I'm just going to give it a quick squirt. So, yeah, Kevin, have I still got stuff at the Gloucestershire Airport? Yes, I have. If you have a pass in, please take a have a look. Arrivals and departures. There's about 25 of the originals over there. That's good. Okay. Right. So I think one or two of you are having problems with the feed coming through, but don't panic. <laughs> Uh, because uh, the delay is, um, there's a delay obviously between what I'm doing and uh, coming through. But um, I think we're still live as far as we can see. 
don't panic this will get automatically now when we finish the stream uploaded to YouTube it'll probably be an hour for them to crunch and process all the data but after that you'll be able to see the feed exactly how it was done uh, in uh, at, at your leisure which could have whenever you want okay oh thanks Kevin what plaster is used <laughs> we'll check it out we'll be sure to check it out yeah give, let's, let's, let's give Kevin a round of applause for that for helping us out with that <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, brilliant. So, I am going to stop there with the actual physical painting. Look, you know, it's just an insight into how my mind works. So I hope you've kind of enjoyed some of the processes and explanations as to what's going on and just had a bit of fun with something nice and happy and colourful. Oh, so thank you for bearing with us. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, so let's just quickly look at some of the comments and feedback that we've got so far. What's that funny fox? Give it a spray with Guinness. Really? That's quite controversial, but hey, you know what? That's fine, we could do that. I don't mind. We'll get a couple of cans and have a go. The black. No, look at the black. You can see the black now. I think you're right, Janice. Thank you for the comment. It is grounding it. Black is one of these really, really difficult colours. It, it has a tremendous uh, finality to it. Uh, what I mean by that is, is that. Yeah, especially that as a good example. When you've got that on, where do you go with it after that? There is no getting rid of that. You start to cover that up even when it's dry, it's still going to be there. So I think you have to be really, really careful with black. Now, interestingly, there wasn't a large volume of black that went on. And I think then, when this has recorded itself, and it's available on YouTube to watch, when you skip between it going on and where we're at now, you can see it's starting to expand. And much of that is down to the volume of paint that's already there. So as the paint underneath starts to move of course it's going to take the black with it um, but even so I think that's, that's quite nice now that hasn't really gone in the direction that I've anticipated but you know I think that's great because what that's done that's really given quite a, a power I think to it and it has separated it into two but there's still so much of the layering underneath that it still becomes one uh, if that makes any sense I don't want to analyze it too much but I'm, I'm really liking that I mean uh, happy Thanks, Kim Ray, and thanks, Anne, for the claps. <laughs> Thank you, that's really kind. Okay, so I think uh, we're almost done there, ladies and gents. Don't forget, I know I've banged on about it two or three times, but do give us a subscribe. Tell your friends, give us a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Hit the red button. Loads of cool stuff coming through. That would be amazing. To all of you who have uh, commented and joined in, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And we're definitely going to do something again next week. And we'll do something different. Different techniques, different colours, maybe different size of canvas. Uh, we'll talk you through some different methods of applying. Maybe use um, some scrapers. Maybe use the syringes. Oh, now that's interesting. I think then what we'll do is when this is cured, which will sort of, you know, it's going to be about a week, week, six, maybe seven days because of the volume of paint, we'll get it stretched around a frame and we'll get some pictures of it and I'll get it online. So Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, if you're not already following, type in Suarez Art and you'll find me on Twitter, Facebook, all one word. And um, I think if you look at the channel on the header, you'll see the little links to social media. We'll definitely, definitely get that onto social media so you can have a little look at uh, what it actually looks like when it's finished. Because what you can't really appreciate is the level of detail in this. Boys and girls, let's move that out of the way. <sighs> What's that funny, Fox? We do a victory dance. I, I don't dance. <sighs> oh, okay. Do it. Just do Just it. it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so how are we looking? So that's really, really developing now. I mean, there's no argument with that, is there? That just says, oh, colour and black. I mean, that is just, that's mad. Let's just have a little look. Hopefully you're picking some of that up. 
you see that's really starting to move now. Look at that. Lovely, absolutely brilliant. Loving that. So hopefully we've had a little bit of fun tonight, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, ladies and gents, everybody who's commented and joined us this evening, thank you for your patience and for your time. We're really, really grateful. Hope you've enjoyed the test cam. Apologies if we haven't mentioned it because there's been a lot of comments far more than I anticipated, which is quite overwhelming to be fair. Oh, thank you so much. We had a few gremlins at the start and I'm so sorry about that. We'll replace some cables, <laughs> hopefully make it a bit better next time. Ladies and gents, thank you a million times over for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great evening, a great Halloween. Don't forget, give us a like. I won't mention subscribe anymore. Oh, go on, just do it. We won't, won't do that again. Thank you. Swires HQ on behalf of me and Aiden, signing out, and we'll see you soon.